please welcome on stage Matteo. <laughs> Very good. Hi, everybody. Stage. Can you hear me? Okay. The title of this talk is True Visual Editing with React. Uh, well, you may ask, why true? <laughs> Does it mean that there is also false visual editing? We'll see this in a moment. I am uh, Matteo Frana and the CEO and co-founder of React Bricks CMS. Before we start, uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you like uh, headless CMSs? Don't be shy, I know you like headless CMSs. <laughs> okay, not so much, I expected more. <laughs> and uh, well, I expected more because uh, really uh, headless CMSs are great uh, for us. If we had uh, a room full of content creators, guess what the result would be? Well, I can tell you from uh, uh, my experience interviewing content creators that uh, we would have seen uh, no raised hands, because not because they are shy, but uh, because they hate headless CMSs. When you use uh, a headless, it's like uh, editing a database. For us, great. We love abstract entities. We love abstract relationships. But guess what marketing people love instead? Pages, this simple and clean concept that we had in WordPress and that we lost with headless CMSs. Marketing people love to use uh, Word or Pages or maybe Wix where we have uh, visual editing. And so now if you will remember just one concept of my talk, I would like it to be this one. The experience of content creators is as important as our experience as developers. Why? Well, I could tell you that content, cre yeah, content creators are the ones who use uh, the CMS uh, most of the time, or I could tell you that uh, a happy content creator creates better content. But I will give you another reason instead. If the CMS is not easy, the content creator will reach out to us uh, asking for help. And we don't want that, right? So we need an easy CMS uh, so that content creators are autonomous. They can do their job and let our, us do our job. <laughs> this is why we need visual editing. And uh, we need a true visual editing. <laughs> what uh, I call uh, the false visual editing is when you are editing uh, on a sidebar and you see the preview on the page. Think if uh, when you use Word or Pages, you were just uh, editing on a sidebar and see the preview on the page instead of writing over the page. What I call the true visual editing is what you have with Word or Pages. And for the web, for me, it is this thing. You click on the text, you click on images, you directly edit, and you use a sidebar only when you want to change properties. This is what you do in Word. This is what I wanted in 2019, at the end of 2019. And of course, I wanted this kind of experience and React. We love React. This is why I started working on React Bricks. With React Bricks, uh, you create content blocks uh, using React components. In your JSX, you can use our magic visual components like text, rich text, image, repeater. And you can add a schema property to your components where you define the sidebar controls that your user can use. You define the type of control that you want. And of course, on your React component, you will receive, receive the values of these props as a prop of your components. So great for content creators, great for developers. Here you see us creating, handcrafting the Lego key rings <laughs> that you have in your bag. <laughs> I hope you like them. And uh, there is just one key ring that is different from all the others. It is not like this one, but it has the key ring on the other side, on the logo side. 
If you happen to have it, tell me afterwards because uh, you can win. You win a one full year of uh, uh, React Bricks Pro plan, which is a one thousand two hundred dollars of value. And uh, if you like what we are doing at React Bricks, uh, please visit our website and uh, join our Discord server. We are a community of developers who want to change the way people edit websites. Thank you. Thank you. You only used five minutes. Huh? OK, uh, great. So, so if you want to add anything, or if anyone has a question, questions? or if anyone has found uh, <laughs> the right uh, <laughs> everyone no questions? Is searching. Okay, if there are no questions and you have still five minutes, uh, I could call my friend Dario to sing a song for us, or <laughs> I could show you some code. <laughs> Dario says not, so <laughs> if it's okay. okay, I could show you a quick demo, and uh, yeah, it's not uh, something uh, you have a, you have a scheduled minutes. programmed, uh, but uh, the best thing uh, in life uh, usually are not <laughs> scheduled, <laughs> so let's try it. <laughs> Okay, here you see a, a website created with the Next.js. Uh, by the way, uh, React Bricks works with, Next, with Next.js, uh, uh, Gatsby, or Remix. Here I'm already logged in, uh, so I can click on the pencil to edit the content. If uh, I were not logged in, I would have <laughs> a login interface, of course. Here you see that uh, on the left I can uh, see my pages, uh, familiar like WordPress, uh, and then uh, I can uh, uh, directly click uh, and uh, and edit uh, uh, the content as uh, I showed you. Okay. I can apply styles. For example, here I can apply just a bold and link because this component with this rich text component, this visual component by Rare Bricks, uh, I defined for these bricks that I wanted just uh, the bold and the link styles. Of course, you can define every rich text feature and you can provide your render function for everything, for bold, for italic, etc. For images, if I click on an image, I can uh, upload an image, I can uh, uh, choose uh, an image from a splash, uh, and then I can crop it. Every time you upload, the images gets optimized by the React Brick servers, uh, so you have all the, re the responsive versions, the blur up version, and uh, the uh, image is served from a global CDN. You don't need anything external like uh, Cloudinary ImageX, etc. You, we have the concept of bricks inside of bricks. Uh, so, for example, in this brick, you see that I can add uh, features. So you can nest at any levels. And I'd like to show you uh, the code for one brick. So let's add uh, a custom hero unit brick. So let's m let me open up the code. By the way, this is uh, a Next.js project, so you see that, uh, let me large you have the pages folder here there is the admin folder the admin is hosted by you together with the with the project and you see that inside here we have only thin a thin layer over the uh, edit, the admin component of react bricks so for example here you have the editor or the playground where you see all of your design system we have the slug, which is the catch-all page of Next.js, where we have the page viewer of React Bricks. We just get the content with get static props and pass it to the page viewer. This, uh, the page viewer will show exactly what you saw in the editor. The Bricks folder has all the configuration for Rare Bricks. We don't have time to see it, but let's see one brick. A brick is a React component Really, it is of type of bricks, but you see that, that a brick is just a React functional component with a schema. In the JSX, here I'm using an image, a text, and the rich text. The rich text, in the rich text, you can define all of the loud feature, and you can provide your render function for everything. So it, here I have the render bold, but I can provide my render function for everything. And uh, if I change here, for example, I am using Tailwind, but I can use any CSS and any CSS in JS uh, um, framework. So let's say that this is rounded full, for example. And if I go 
here you see that I have the component which updates. So I'm writing a React code and I have for free this visual editing interface, which is great for content editors. I, I'd like to show you just one thing from the, from the website, uh, that if you want to learn Rebricks, uh, the best uh, way is doing the step-by-step -step tutorial. You have a step-by-step -step tutorial with gamification, where you can uh, read uh, and uh, you can uh, answer questions and gain points. And there is, of course, the full documentation. You have uh, the, uh, our uh, roadmap, so that you can see where we are heading. And uh, I particularly like the talk by Jenny before. One thing that is not yet here in the roadmap is that we'd like to create a Figma plugin for React Bricks uh, so that you can export a component from Figma and have uh, something which is 19% ready for React Bricks. So if some of you is uh, a guru of uh, Figma plugins, please drop me a, a line at matteo at reactbricks.com. Thank you.